IELTS. Now, IELTS, this is the introduction lecture, format lecture, timetable, sources, how to prepare for IELTS simple. Now, IELTS stands for International English Language Testing System. When we claim that IELTS stands for this language testing system, so at here, we should take it out from our mind that it is not a test of biology, science, physics, mathematics, anything else. It is the test of English ability. And what does it mean? That there are now four modules. You know about that listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Each module will be examined different criteria. Like if we talk about listening, so it is only for the purpose to check the student's level and approach, either he understand the listening or not. Now, how will be the listening and how to prepare, we will talk. If we talk about reading, it only check that either this person understand the message or not. When he reads a passage, is he able to answer the question at the end of the passage like comprehension or not? Reading ability, listening ability. That checks, uh, that check like uh, uh, your input capability. How you, like, like when you listen, so you something like you, something is going inside your in your mind. And when you read, something is again, you are picking from the reading passage. Now, if you understand so well and good, if you face difficulty in understanding of these two, it means there is something problem or lacking over the, uh, you can say the skill of these two. Now, secondly, next we have writing and speaking. Both lie on the same pattern. Because in both of the module, the English, this IELTS, here it will check only either in writing, can you convey your message or not? The message that you convey is professional, proper, grammatical, accurate, coherence, cohesion, relevant, like it is in the proper style, uh, proper professional way or not. If we talk about speaking, again, some of the like uh, things, fluency, some of the things like pronunciation, again, grammatical error and words ratio. For each module, there is a separate criteria how your score is going to be conducted and how your score is going to be examined. Like each module actually uh, examines the level of a student, where he lies and she lies. And it doesn't matter, you know, uh, I sometimes give my students different kind of examples. Sometimes students feel disappointed and a kind of like IELTS will be a rocket science. It is a piece of cake, like it is a, like, a, you know, walking in a park. Like walking in a park means that it is easy. It is American phrase. Now, how, you know, one student from Philippines, she got 4.5 in first exam of IELTS. And next exam, second attempt, she got 8.5 within 40 days. And that was not like my or other person training. It was her own dedication at the hard work. One student from Lahore, she got 2.5 in next test. Yeah, uh, sorry, uh, her level. She didn't appear in test, but she, her level was too weak and she improved and got 6.5 in first time. Now it shows that there are kind of like varieties of results that when we see the student is improving. And we also see uh, one student got 8.5 in speaking, 8.5 in uh, listening, uh, this writing seven and in reading 6.5. And he was the most top talented student in Pakistan because he was given a scholarship for a uh, job purpose and work this uh, st st study from Australia and Canada. But why he got 6.5, I said, you tell me the reason. He said, sir, I was little overconfident and I didn't practice well. So the first thing that in IELTS is if you feel good or if you feel that I know vocabulary, I know grammar and I will be good at speaking, you still need to, to practice and to study daily. You have to think, uh, keep this point in mind. And how much for each module? Now we will discuss gradually. First of all, first of all, I talk about and we discuss listening. IELTS listening is for 30 minutes total. Within those 30 minutes, there are four sections. And the best source for the preparation of listening is two. But the first on the priority uh, is this, uh, are these IELTS Cambridge books, right? From Cambridge book, book seven, till 19, you have to complete all the tests. Each book contains only four practice tests. And that means that 
if you complete one uh, listening test a day, one practice listening test a day. How to do, from where to do, well, I will tell you if you know, if you want to know about that. But anyhow, listening, four tests in one book from IELTS Cambridge, book number seven of practice till book number 19, the best ever source for IELTS listening, right? And same goes for reading. For writing and list speaking, the source is different. But as we are going to talk about the criteria, the structure, the format, and the timetable and the source. So all together, I'm talking. Listening, four sections, and each section contains a separate and different audio. For instance, if we talk about audio number one, it contains a conversation between two people, right? When you will listen within your headphones, audio number one, there will be two people, they talk about society. Now your mind may be 100% ready that, uh, that, that hello, how can I assist you? This person will either ask, I want to know about this information related, regarding cooking, regarding uh, shopping, regarding hotel booking room, any society related topic. When you will practice two, three, four tests, you will understand this part is having a telephonic conversation always. This is actually the, you can say the structure of IELTS listening. Right, the IELTS listening section one, two people will talk on telephone and any society topic. Now, this part contains 10 MCQs. The most is yes part in overall exam, even easy than IELTS speaking introduction part. IELTS speaking introduction means what's your full name? Uh, where are you from? Do you work a study and this? But at here, your target should be 10 out of 10. And if you get 10 out of 10, it is equal to round about approximately 3, 3.5, right? 3.5, yes. Now, in recording, listening, as I mentioned earlier, that there are four sections. Section number one, there is yes. Section number two, there would be only one person. And he again talks about any society topic, any social awareness. This thing is increasing, decreasing, inclining, declining, any society. The format is very important. It plays a vital role when you know that this is the uh, I'm going to face. And now this is the way, this is the criteria, how I am supposed to go. Now in IELTS listening section number two, one person will talk about society. What kind of question? In regarding number one, you will face the question of filling the blanks, our table completion, where you were supposed to write one, one word, two word. Another thing, in IELTS listening, you are supposed to be very careful regarding spelling mistake because you listen and then you write in your filling the gaps, filling the blanks. Now, if you make a single spelling mistake one letter, your score, one score will be detected. You have to keep very focused on spelling. Meanwhile, you write, no problem. But later on, you have to check each spelling, right? When 10 extra minutes at the end will be given in IELTS listening only, right? Now, in regarding number two, one person and the kinds of question varies. Sometimes choosing option, sometimes um, matching columns, sometimes this map, map like a, a kind of like, directions where you're supposed to give the direction for a different building, right? In recording number three, you will face two, three, or four participants, and they talk to each other regarding educational topic, regarding uh, course, regarding scientific report, regarding scientific research, regarding medical report, regarding uh, lecture, regarding university discussion. Now, any topic that will be affiliated that will be related to education will be the discussion based on so far in recording number three. Now your mind should be again ready for the, yeah, at here there is a little kind of the, if you ask me or if you ask any of the expert student even, even the student that might be having a good, uh, uh, you know, practice and uh, a kind of experience in as practice so far. So he will also say, uh, tell you the same. If you, in each module, there is one challenging part, there is little bit easy part. Now in IELTS listening, the challenging part is recording number three. Even recording number four is easy than three. And three doesn't mean that it is difficult. It is having a challenge for students. And the challenge means choosing option. There will be three, four options, rather four options. And you will be asked that which option is correct. Robert said this to Julia, which option is correct? And now when you listen audio, you will listen option number A, B, C, D. And then your mind gets stuck. Which option I should choose? 
So this thing will be discussed in explanation that for ice listening, this is the way for how to go for ice listening section number three. And it is, um, if I explain right now, it will be a little bit explanatory. In recording number four, again, there will be educational discussion and it based on uh, any uh, kind of inspiration topic, any information regarding educational topic, and this will be discussed by one person. So again, I repeat, recording number one, two people, telephonic conversation. Recording number two, one person, society. Again, social awareness. Regarding number three, two person or three persons, and they will discuss academic, educational topic. In recording number four, one person, again, educational topic, right? IELTS listening is same for academic student, for general student. Now, what should be the criteria? How to go for IELTS listening practice? Daily one test is must for up to 30, 40 days. This thing you have to keep it in mind in your timetable. Sometimes students think like uh, academy will just bring our trainer or my guider or the person who is going to guide me will just collect all the points and keep it in my mind or just, you know, uh, give me it like like tablet and I will eat it and I will engulf it. No, the trainer or the, you know, the one who is going to guide you is going to only share about this is the trick. This is the route and how to drive your car, how to ride your bike. This depends on you totally, right? I mean practice. And that practice means your assignment update, right? Now, 30 minutes for IELTS listening, you have to take it out so far because test is of approximately 26 to 30 minutes, each IELTS listening test. And daily, you have to cover one IELTS listening practice test. At initial, either you get 17, either you get 27 out of 40, no problem. Less, more, the middle, no problem. But you have to do, if you want the best score, the best means seven plus. If you want the average score, then within two, three days, if you do one listening, no problem. But for other modules, this is only for listening I'm discussing. By the way, in IELTS listening section number one, 10 out of 10 should be target. In IELTS listening section number two, eight out of 10 should be target. In IELTS listening section number three, out of 10, six, seven should be target. In IELTS listening section number four, again, nine should be target, right? The average targets, right? Which can easily be achievable, right? Now, it, 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 I actually this made uh, this, this criteria on the behalf of its complexity level. Now here, if you get 32, that is equal to seven band. And if you get 33, that is equal to 7.5. Out of 40 MCQs, if you correct, 32, right? So it is equal to seven. Or even if you equal to, uh, correct 30 MCQs, 30, 31, 32, all of these are equal to seven band. Now, we talk about reading. If you have any question, you can stop me. Meanwhile, in the lecture, I never mind regarding as listening. Okay. Towards... Yes, I have one question. Sure, sure. Uh, about listening. Yes, yes, please. Uh, uh I'm not uh very good at listening, but uh, and uh, I want just to ask you how many times should I prepare that uh, listening every day to, to have a good score because uh, my exam is uh, would be 24 September after, yes uh, 26 right and uh, how much score you need to get how many bands uh, about seven seven for which country For Mauritius. Right, right. Especially for Turkey University. Turkey University? Yes. Okay, okay. Now, uh, firstly, I will share one test to assist your level, right? And then you have to share your score, how many MCQs you correct. Then I will keep your timetable and make your timetable for you that you have to do one listening or two listening test. But for, from my side, for each every student, those who understand English easily, one listening test a day is enough. But with full attention, listening means concentration, understanding, attention, focus, right? Okay. okay. Yes, yes. Now, second module, that is reading. Guys, this module doesn't accept even a single day game within practice. 
either if somebody is dying at here your self care is very important and to be very honest frankly speaking that this module needs daily practice daily work even if you are 100 believe me i have a, a prepared phd doctors right uh, i can show their results and i will share even the interview of the ones uh, who i sometimes claim like this person got eight point five. I, their interview i have uploaded on the channel but those first trouble in this module when they didn't do, uh, take it uh, serious right and seriousness means that you have to do it in two ways number one daily number two in fresh and relaxed time fresh and relaxed time means no form no family uh, you can say like like the disturbance of your family might, uh, might be of children might be of any other thing and also in tiredness in tiredness, like late night, some students do it. Some students do it within the busy schedule timetable. Some like half this, they do that. You will never improve in this module. And then at the end, you will be disappointed from yourself. This module needs serious work. Little serious work, little kind of like, uh, uh, you can say individual attention and individual focus. This is a serious module, by the way. Now, because if we take general reading, if we take uh, academic reading, a quite little different is there, a little different, right? But in both, the passages are three, and in both, the third passage is same. First two are little different. For general, first two are easy. For academic, first two are little challenging. But then it depends. Uh, I will further discuss like how the scoring criteria is so far given to for each student, for general and academic. By the way, this uh, reading section contains a variety of questions within three passages. True, false, not given, heading findings, fill in the blanks, two words, three word answers, matching columns, and uh, uh, sentence completion, table complete. Now, a variety of round about 10 questions, 10 kinds of questions. But whatever the kind of question is asked from you, you will have to search the answer in the paragraph in the passage, right? Like, for example, three passages are there. Three passages means three stories, simple in simple words. Now, story number one, and that contains 13 questions. Story number two, that contains 13 questions. Story number three, that contains 14 questions. Total 40 questions. Out of 40, if academic students get 30 correct MCQs, it is equal to 7 times. Because their first two passages are challenges. But if general students get 30 out of 40, it means 6.5 for general students. Because first two passages are easy for them. Now, Passage number one, uh, that contains seven paragraphs. Out of seven paragraphs, you will be given 13 questions, 13 MCQs, fill in the blanks. For 13 MCQs, you have to find out the answers in the paragraphs where. Now, the thing that is very important here is uh, firstly, indeed, understanding the question and then focusing on the answer and paragraph meaning message so far. If you lack any vocabulary word, no problem. You, you have to understand the passage. You know, understanding is very, very important in concentration. Each single sentence is important in IELTS reading section. When you find the answer for the question, right? Uh, especially heading finding and all others. Now, a kind of a variety of suggestions for reading is, are there and techniques so far. But if any part in any of the modules overall, either speaking, reading, writing, listening, you have to focus on that specific point. You know, in United Kingdom, uh, I have some colleagues, those who are trainers, as trainers. And there, for native speakers, even like, like for the native, those who are spending enough uh, long time periods out there in UK and so forth. Now, their criteria, I do like it. In Pakistan, it's a little different. Pakistan direct training will be started and so forth. But in European states, and that is very nice, uh, examiner or the trainer first assist the level of a student. So you have to assist yourself where you are lacking. And then trainer focus on that specific point. Like if in reading, 10 varieties of questions are there. If you lack in heading finding, discuss with me, discuss with your friend and focus more on heading finding. If your problem is in true false, focus more on true false. Believe me, you know, uh, there was one girl student in my physical classes. She was weak in heading finding. After seven days, she correct all the headings in mock tests. I said, how did you do it? She said, for these seven days, the whole week, I was only doing this heading finding question, right? So what the variety of question is the trouble maker for you, you become, you have to uh, become a troubleshooter for it, right? 
to sum up, to complete, but giving it a time. Now, I'll reading overall, it is equal to three passages plus 60 minutes, like one hour. Within one hour, you have to complete three passages. At initial time, don't and never care about them. At initial, when you start reading passages, like let's like suppose you start proper schedule, like uh, it takes uh, around about uh, two hours, three hours, no problem. At initial, you have to develop your reading. At initial, you have to improve your level of reading section, right? This module, I'm emphasizing more on it because I know personally this is challenging module. Right? Never care about this speaking, writing, uh, uh, listening in a sense like as much as you so is, you should care about reading section. And if you guarantee me reading, little bit like improving, humanly on me, right? Also this one, but this one needs little bit more uh, because as you know, nowadays people are quite far away from reading section because of these devices and so far. Now, anyhow, in 60 minutes, you have to cover three passages and passage, each passage you should do approximately 20 minutes, around about 20 minutes. If you, at initial scenario, if you give you even to it's three to four hours, no problem. At initial, I want score from you when you do practice a day, right? At initial days, do one listening, one reading practice, one reading practice. But later on, when 10 or 15 days are remaining for your exam, or if you think that I am not improving, then increase the reading test actually. You should do the two tests a day, two practice tests a day. That means two hours. At the end, when your 10 days will be remaining for your exam, right? Otherwise, you will be stuck at your, at your position if you think that my, I'm not improving so far. Now, next section uh, is writing. Then in reading, there is a quite like, like a deep detailed discussion. Sometimes nowadays, especially, uh, I sometimes uh, take double classes of it. Reading double means like... Uh, the other modules, I take one week, one week, one week. For reading, sometimes, mostly nowadays, I give it two weeks, right? And the reason behind this is the only simple that students are lacking. Now, if we talk about writing section, it also means 60 minutes total. And writing section has only two questions. Question number one for academic students is the kind of graph I show you. A diagram from any of diagram will be shown to you. You will write about the diagram. For general students, question number one means letter writing. I will teach you both. Right? Reading, sorry, listening, speaking, same for academic general. Writing only question number one is different. And reading passages are different. First two passages. But that um, what we call question time is same. So this is a kind of letter writing that you have to write a letter in your writing task one, and uh, it is equal to three band. It is equal to three band. Oh my God. Sorry, I saved some very important uh, slides for you, but I couldn't do them. Anyhow, I will share at the end of the class, inshallah. Those are very, very important, by the way. Anyhow, no problem. Now, um, Today I actually created it, but I lost it. Now, uh, this question number, and I'll uh, writing, you are you'll be having two questions. Question number one, I explained, and question number two, that is called essay writing, is same for academic and general. Where question number one contains three bands, and you will need to write 150 words. 150 words. Right within total 20 minutes. Either letter writing for journal, either description of chart for academic students. While question number two, essay writing that contains uh, six band and 250 words you have to write within 40 minutes. Now, for essay, uh, for writing section and for speaking section, you have to understand what examiner check. If we talk about Essay writing, the most important part in writing, because six bands, total is nine in each module. Now, question number two, that is same for academic and general students, it contains six bands. And six is like if you get five, even 4.5, it's like the half score, right, uh, out of nine. And then in remaining, you can get in this um, set question number one. 
So far in essay writing, you will be having a variety of kinds, like total four you can consider because uh, actually in IELTS exam, there are four, five kinds, but fifth number might not be given because uh, it comes very rarely. By the way, I will show you that how you can do that as well. Anyhow, for whatever the kind is given, if they ask advantage, disadvantage, if they ask problem solution, if they ask your argument, your opinion, if they ask discussion essay, if they ask double questions within the same essay, like five points of essays are there. You have to be focused on that specific question. First thing, for each module, I should understand the question. Sometimes students directly jump and later on they feel and realize a kind of blunder, right? Sometimes when you jump directly on a topic, writing it without thinking about it, you may lay a kind of, you know, uh, you may miss a very valuable in, in information. You may make a, a grammatical mistake. You may miss some of the paragraph structure-wise, uh, you know, the important point, right? Like in each paragraph, if you say, uh, if you ask me what is paragraph, you also know a collection of sentences that contain one idea, but what kind of collection? One simple sentence, one compound sentence, one complex sentence. There will be different sentences in paragraph, right? And then a proper starting, a proper closing of sentence. Now, I'm, I'm feeling very sad for that. I lost those slides, but I will show you from other uh, essays. Like look at this essay. She got 8.5 overall. Now look at her essay. I I really I'm fond of it. I like it. A kind of this phrase, owing to this modern era, owing to this contemporary era, comma, owing to this 21st century, owing to this R, you can say in the technological era, if any technological topic is given to you, if uh, uh, this modern device is related, then comma, and so far. So the first thing, what am I writing is should be relevant and should be 100% same to the question. I should not, sometimes students think like in writing and speaking, I have to only speak and write. No, you have to speak and write what has asked from you. Examiner is asking about North America, you're discussing about South Africa. So this thing like abruption, like, like, like a, a kind of like a childish um, uh, action, right? So what examiner is asking you, you have to focus on that. Now, second, the structure. Professional structure. One is professional structure. One is common school going child essay. Like, let's suppose I ask you a topic. Let's suppose. Then I show you this slide again. Let's suppose this is the topic. I give you one topic. And the topic is electronic reading is trending nowadays. And I ask you to write an essay on this. And uh, advantages and disadvantages. Let's suppose I want you to discuss this. And now... Um, school going child or a common mind will write it. Electronic reading is trending nowadays. People are using it in a high level or in a high uh, quantity. There are a lot of advantages and disadvantages I discuss in this essay. So it is very like, like, like awkward style of writing. You should follow a proper professional way that should sound like you are a student. It shouldn't sound like you are a school going child. That's why when I ask sometimes we ask students, how was your writing? Take the answer, let's see, I don't know how will it be, right? So if you want the best, if you want the best score, your style, your structure, your response in speaking and in writing, it should be the best, not the least, right? Now, proper structure means the starting for each paragraph, the closing for each paragraph, the connection of ideas, the connection of sentences, how you connect the sentences with each other, that also matters a lot, right? Sometimes students connect sentences, all sentences with this single word. So, 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 sorry, jumlo ko so, pure paragraph ko so se bar dete So or then se, right? You are requested, highly requested and suggested. Jab aap reasons mention karne lage, when you try to mention the connection of ideas, har paragraph mein aap connection of ideas dete hain. So you are requested to Take help from the professional connectors. Like, let me show you. Aap is tarah se proper start le sakte hain. Paragraph mein jo aapki connections hote hain. Ye dekhen. Undoubtedly, admittedly, when you want to discuss something good, 
कुछ अच्छा डिस्कस करने वाले बिला शक के लॉजिकली एडमिटेडली अच्छा फर्स्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट रीजन फर्स्ट एंड फॉर मोस्ट जिसका मतलब है पहला और सबसे अहम द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट और फिर लास्ट में इसी तरह Unfortunately, regrettably, regrettably, sorry, जब आप negative perception discuss कर, अच्छा अब students इससे stuck होते हैं on one hand on the other hand on one hand on the other hand इससे निकल के आप थोड़े से कुछ और भी use कर सकते हैं like अगर आप positive mention कर रहे हैं on the brighter side अगर आप negative mention कर रहे हैं you can say on the darker side you can say on the uh, brighter side और फिर दूसरे side पे on the dorsal side on the contrary मतलब different connectors I will share the list with you one picture is just and after that idea bhi theek hai comma punctuation ka sirf comma jahan jahan pe lagta hai i will tell you now and the structure information is also okay ab aise ko taiyar kahan se karna hai dekhiye iske sources mukhtalif hai i have uh, three sources for you one is als academic book for essay writing one is als maker book for essay writing one is als dot blog for essay writing mere recommendation aapke liye I only recommend you for essay writing. Only please do not go for any other. I'll make it. I'll make it. It is written by Indian writers, Sri Lankan, Bangladesh, Malay, this Malaysia, Nepal, Pakistan, uh, Pakistan. I think few people are might be using because I have not seen in many academies. But maker writing for I'll speak is the best book. There are some mistakes of comma. I personally have gone through this. But overall, you have to learn the idea, the structure, the words, the starting, the closing, the proper content, right? The information. आपने ये ऐसे याद नहीं करने. आपने एक ऐसे को रोजाना दो ऐसे आपने read करने. Writing में practice कैसे करनी है? Like each module reading listening, I told you. For for essay writing preparation, you have to read two essays a day. Or two essays पे तो आपके five to ten minutes. Right? Time भी इतना consume नहीं करना. और साथ में आल्सो अलॉन्ग विद दिस यू हैव टू राइट एन एसे अ डे एक एसे लिखना है दो पढ़ना है और उस एक एसे को मुझे शेयर कर अगर आप शेयर नहीं करते सो स्टिल यू आर लाइक हाइडिंग आर लाइक 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 टेकिंग रीड ऑफ योर राइट इंप्रूवमेंट नहीं होगी इस मेकर एसे बुक में एसे की इंफॉर्मेशन लेनी यू हैव टू टेक इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम एसे मेकर बुक डेली टू एसे Like like you read today, advantage disadvantage essay and opinion essay two essays. Now write one essay in, within your own words and share me. I will uh, also give you best. I will tell you that this is the problem with your writing. So when you realize this is my problem, improve it next time. Don't make this problem. If next time you make, third time you will not make. Right? But daily writing is very important. Sometimes I might be very 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 busy. Sorry for this and honestly sharing this. Sometimes I even do not give a session for some uh, extra time, like 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 uh, uh, outside of my timetable and approach when I can't manage. So do not worry about that time when I can't check. Sometimes the essay on time, even physical students they keep the essays at here on my table. I check it even uh, sometimes after three four days. So sometimes the essay results the assessment because I check it properly. I will not give you directly this is the bad this is false. I I will tell you the mistakes. So for realizing the mistake, sometimes it takes three four days because uh, because of little busy and hectic schedule. But by the way, within three four days you will get the response of each essay writing. As far as the speaking, sino ah uh, sorry, before coming to speaking, for uh, writing part one preparation there is also a separate book. If you are general student, I share for general. If you are academic student, I share for academic. But The important part in writing improvement and preparation is your essay writing. Right? If you are done well, if you are good in essay writing, your remaining uh, the part one is okay. Right? You have to only understand the structure and you have to write only few of the questions. Got it? Okay. The most interesting, my favorite module is speaking. By the way, because I think I like it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I speaking section. Uh. It is around about twelve to sixteen minutes. Okay, I make you laugh little bit, so because it was a little bit overall serious lecture. In our speaking section, sometimes examiner asks a student a question, but they answer it like reading. They do not answer it like speaking. One sir, ऐसे कर रहे हो तो जैसे कुछ read कर रहे हैं. 
ऐसे आंसर कर दें नहीं जैसे कुछ स्पीकिंग डिस्कशन हो रही है कैसे अब एग्जामिनर पूछता है इफ एग्जामिनर आस टेल मी अबाउट एनी टूरिस्ट अट्रैक्टिव प्लेस और एनी पार्टी फंक्शन यू हैव रिसेंटली अटेंडेड अब वो इस तरह अगर बात करें पार्टी आई अटेंडेड वाज इंटरेस्टिंग सो माय फ्रेंड्स वर विद मी सो आई एंजॉयड इट सो इट वाज वेरी नाइस एंड नाउ ही इज सेइंग इंटरेस्टिंग एंड नाइस एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स बट मेकिंग एग्जामिनर आल्सो बोर एंड आल्सो द वे ही आंसर इज आल्सो वेरी बोरिंग यू हैव टू शो लिटिल लिटिल फेशियल एक्सप्रेशंस वन स्टेटमेंट आई से फॉर यू when your body language agree with your tip of tongue the words it is called the best communication answer right also communication style jab aap kuch bolte hain to aapki body language uske sath agree kar rahi ho aapne interesting word bola to face se interesting show ho raha ho boring nahi ya khafa ya pareshan nahi right simple aur isme baki grammar will be checked pronunciation will be checked accent will uh, not accent sorry um, your fluency will be checked your word ratio will be checked uh, okay guys please click on the same link for rejoining and then uh, i will come to your question if you have any question now this meeting is going to an end click on the same link for few more minutes 5 to 10 more minutes we are going to have the same session